Today we're going to look at laboratory equipment. And the laboratory equipment we're going to look at is mostly glassware, but uh, we're also going to look at some of the other apparatus that are used in a laboratory. One of the things we're going to start with today is... Let's take a look at the most common chemistry lab glassware and equipment. Glassware is found in abundance in laboratories and comes in all shapes and sizes. Pipette, barrette, beaker, conical flask, measuring cylinder, test tube, funnel, etc. Each of these containers has its own unique form and purpose. All laboratory glassware, with very few exceptions, is made with borosilicate glass. Borosilicate glass is made primarily using silica and boron trioxide. This glass is extremely resilient to heat and chemicals. Beakers are the most common type of laboratory glassware. A beaker is a glass container with a flat bottom and a small spout for pouring. They are primarily used for pouring, mixing and measuring liquids. Erlenmeyer flasks are also known as conical flasks and they're flat bottom flasks with a wide base and a narrow neck. Their shape makes them ideal for swirling liquids to mix them without the risk of spilling. Graduated cylinders are, as the name suggests, tall glass cylinders with regular markings. A test tube is a small cylinder of glass, usually three to four inches long, opened at the top and closed at the bottom. Test tubes can be round-bottomed, flat-bottomed, or conical-bottomed. But round-bottomed test tubes are the most common. Test tubes are typically used to hold, mix, or heat small quantities of chemicals, especially for quantitative experiments. Pipettes are long, narrow tubes tapered at one end. They are used to measure and dispense specific volumes of liquid. A funnel is a tube or pipe that is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom, used for guiding liquid or powder into a small opening. Magnetic stirrers are a rotating magnetic field used to move a stir bar around in liquid samples. The movement of this stir bar mixes the sample thoroughly with rapid movement and agitation. Of course, we also use a burner for heating up uh, liquids and fluids. And of course, uh, we can use it as well for sterilizing equipment. As well, we have a stand for holding different kinds of glassware. So I hope now you know the uses of some of these different glassware and apparatus.